Carnival, known as the greatest show on earth, is Trinidad and Tobago's most popular event. Carnival attracts thousands of tourists each year, all hoping to catch a glimpse and experience the festive colors and culture the island has to offer. Carnival was first introduced to Trinidad by the French Catholic plantation owners in the 18th century, who would often have formal parties before fasting for Lent. The word carnival actually means farewell to the flesh. That has drastically changed over the years, making room for uncontrollable drinking and revelry, robbery, rape and murder, go to an all-time high during this time. It's a place most churches have refrained from going. Until now. Jonathan Welton, founder and director of the Welton Academy, together with his team, has joined forces with the Apostles Ministries to bring the love of Jesus in a place where few Christians would dare to go. So in 2014, uh, my wife Karen and I were on the island of Trinidad ministering for our third time. And we went and actually visited the carnival that takes place annually. And we had this idea that we should bring a team of, of people down from our school and actually do an outreach. When I was hired to be the missions director, it was um, one of the very first trips that he mentioned to me that was on his heart he wanted to make happen is to come to come to Trinidad during carnival time and do an outreach here and um, yeah so we started planning in about May of last year and almost a year later here we are we finally did it and it was great he chose death just to give us life he made a man blind to bring his soul to the light it's the way that you do the way that you do, do the way that you do it, the way that you do it. Reach into the fire just to save my life. Can't imagine life not connected to the vine. It's the way that you do, the way that you do, do the way that you do it. <clears throat> All glory goes to the one who receives the honor and homage, faithful in prayer through his walk. Many never was a coward, power powerful, beyond measure, line of Judah. Goes by many names, faithful never change. Yeah, I know, cause I've seen that invisible hand. Just clutch your brother out of sin, free from iniquity's plan. His excellence exceeds what your lids could see what they span. I'm just a billboard with the message, hope that they understand. He chose death just to give us life. Made a man blind to bring his soul to the light. It's the way that you do, the way that you do. Like, I never considered, like, carnival evangelism before. I never considered going out and, you know, just loving on people during carnival. Like, it was just not something that ever occurred to me. And when I heard it, I was like, why did I never think of that? It seems so natural. Like, Jesus had to go to all the world, not just the nice parts, not just the pretty parts, not just the parts that you know, we used to being in, but like he said to go to all the world, so why not carnival? And like my entire Christian life, I've been going on retreats, so just not there, like not present. And it's like, he wanted to be there and he always wanted to be there. So it was awesome to just be a part of that and to see that dream fulfilled, to see Jesus get to be at carnival and be there with him. Uh, we were praying, we, we were just walking up to people and asking them if we could bless them and this guy came up to our booth and we were asking him if we could pray for anything and in talking to him he mentioned that he was going for chemotherapy this week so I said well we could pray for that because God could do anything and we believe that your cancer is gone and so essentially we prayed for him and we just thanked the Lord that he had cancer and um, on Tuesday he came back looking for us to testify and to say that he was completely healed from cancer. And that was just wild. 
So it's been on my heart for quite some time to bring a team and do supernatural signs, wonders, miracles in the streets of Carnival at Trinidad. And this year we finally did it. Uh, we had a fire tunnel in the street. We had people in costumes coming through the fire tunnel. Uh, we had healings take place. We had prophecies released. And it was just more than we even expected. Uh, hundreds of people, literally, maybe even thousands, were prayed for over the course of the two days. And I'm, I'm blown away and stunned and and you'll see in some of these clips the incredible things that God did at Carnival in Trinidad 2013. Well, it's about to get really loud as the band's coming right behind us, but we've just got our tunnel here. We're just releasing substance, love, grace, blessings over everybody as they choose to walk through. We've had people in the full costumes. We've had to spread the line to make it wide enough for them to get down the middle. And uh, so we got more people today than we did yesterday. So our line's about twice as long. Turn up, turn up. 